Today, we are going to build a list of 100 consecutive non-prime numbers and much more. The first three consecutive non-prime numbers are 8, 9, and 10. We all know that those numbers are not prime, as we can see from their factorization. 8 is 2 cubed, 9 is 3 squared, and 10 is 2 times 5. Clearly, everybody knows. If we are looking for four consecutive non-prime numbers, then we have, for example, 24, 25, 26, and 27. You have the right not to trust me. So I wrote for you the factorization for each of them. As for a list of five consecutive non-prime numbers, well, that's easy. We take the previous list and we add 28, which is two squared times seven. Now let's jump to 10 consecutive non-prime numbers. The list I found starts with the number 200 and ends with the number 209. Like before, I factored each of them. So you can easily check that I'm not lying and none of those numbers is prime. Like before, this list can be extended to 11 consecutive non-prime numbers. And that's because 210 is even and then definitely not prime. But we can't extend it any further because both 199 and 211 are prime. Now, let's come back to the original question. We want 100 consecutive non-prime numbers. Here we have two possibilities. We can either Google the list of all prime numbers until, I don't know, 10,000, 1 million, I really don't know. Good luck with that. And looking for two consecutive primes whose difference is strictly greater than 100. Or we can use the following little trick. We set A1 to be 101 factorial plus two. Then we define A2 as 101 factorial plus three. And we go on with A3, A4, and at every step we add one. Then we have consecutive numbers, of course. We stop at A100, so we have exactly 100 numbers. If we can prove that none of them is prime, then we are done. Be careful. Those are 158 digits numbers. And it is very likely that there are lists much smaller than that. If you find any, please write it in the comments. I am very curious. As for our proof, we only need to recall the definition of factorial, and then we are practically done. 101 factorial is by definition 101 times 100 times 99 times 98 and so on until four times three times two and the useless times one. Then each AI is the previous factorial plus I plus one. We only need to notice that I plus one appears in the factorial. That means that it divides it. And then it divides the totality of the number AI. I plus one is at least two and certainly smaller than AI. That means that it is a proper factor of AI. Then AI is not prime. Very simple proof, very nice trick. And maybe you understood how to generalize. For every natural number N, can you find a list of n consecutive non-prime numbers? Please write the formula in the comments when you find it. But that's it for today. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much again. Bye.